Ladies and gentlemen, when our regular season began on April 1st, we had no idea what lay in store in the weeks and months ahead. No one could have imagined how suddenly united we would feel just two weeks later. No one could have imagined the strength we would draw from each other, strength embodied in a new phrase, Boston Strong. And no one could have imagined the care and the compassion, the resolve and the resilience, and the triumphant pursuit that characterized our community. In the aftermath of that tragedy, a palpable spirit enveloped our city and filled our clubhouse. And that is why today, before we pick up a bat, ball, or glove, we pause in reflection for a moment of silence to remember those whom we lost. Thank you. And amid our sorrow, we express our heartfelt welcome to two of the families whose loved ones we remember on this day. Won't you please welcome back to Fenway Park the family of Crystal Campbell and the father of MIT police officer Sean Collier. Throughout the spring and summer, there were many whom we sought to comfort and console, to thank and salute, or to encourage and inspire. Yet it is they who have inspired us, and it is we who are honored to pay tribute to them today. I heard there was a secret chord The day that played and it pleased the Lord But you don't really care for music, do you? Well, it goes like this The fourth, the fifth The minor fall and the major lift The baffled king composed was strong but you needed proof you saw her bathing on the roof her beauty and the moonlight overthrew you and she tied you to her kitchen chair and she broke your throne and she cut your hair and from your lips she drew
Maybe there's a God above But all I've ever learned from love Was how to shoot somebody who I drew you And it's not a cry that you hear at night It's not somebody who's seen the light It's a cold and it's a broken heart To all of you, the runners, the volunteers, the first responders, the doctors, the nurses, the physical therapists, and rehabilitation specialists, and to those who battled through the dark of night to apprehend the suspects, know that on this day, when we recognize our beloved Red Sox, we know that the title of champions rightfully belongs to you. And now, let us celebrate the land of the free and the home of the brave with a performance of our national anthem from the resident of Sunderland, Massachusetts, who captivated us with her performance on The Voice. Please welcome Michelle Brooks Thompson. Oh, say, can you see? So proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. Oh, streaming in the rocket's rocket 
Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, as we celebrate the strength of our city, it is our honor to recognize our leader, the man who has given his heart and soul to Boston, the city he loves. With vision, courage, and leadership, he has become the greatest mayor our city has ever known. To present the ceremonial first pitch from the first row of the stands, just as Boston's mayors have done throughout our history, accompanied by his good friend David Ortiz, won't you please welcome the most honorable Thomas M. Menino. Thank you, Mayor Menino for a lifetime of public service that has made us so proud of our beloved Boston. And finally, for the last two words of our ceremony, two of the real heroes on April 15th, welcome Carlos Arredondo and Joe Andruzzi. Play. Play. 